I don't know, I'm sure some of you have seen on my website that we did the sunflower the last two weeks. We actually used a unique in the creek board. These are made in Canada. This is the board that we used when we made the sunflower. If you'll see, this is just loaded with holes, okay? Hi, Nancy. Welcome. Hi, Sue. This is also unique in the creek board, but this is their character board. This board is made just to put mesh or a ribbon or whatever just around the sides with something in the middle. So tonight we're making the scarecrow, okay? They, I did at the top of the comments, hi, Lori, how are you? At the top of the comments, I listed all my links along with the link to Unique in the Creek. And if you use the code, which is stitches, you'll receive 10% off. And that's a code that's, that's on all the time, okay? Now, this, like I said, was the flower board. Then we have the um, Christmas tree board, which can also be an angel and... Um, Let's see what else. Candy corn. There's a lot of uses for this one, and I can't wait to make the angel on it. So, um, they also have a cross. So, I'll be using these boards off and on so we can learn different things from them. Um, like I said, we did the sunflower the last two classes. Everybody like that. So, let's work with the character board tonight. Now there's a way to load, there's two ways you can do it. I prefer this way of loading my zip ties, only because when I cut them, I'm not scratching the door on the back. And there's plenty of room to um, put your business card on there. You should always put your business card on the back of any wreath you've made. Because usually somebody's gonna look behind to see who made it, okay? So what I'm going to be doing, I have, I'll show you what I have. I don't know if all this is going to fit, but we're going to try it. I actually made him a little hat today out of wood. And then I used my brother's scanning cut, which is just like a cricket, to put the words on the hat. It's all made of wood. Be, it's two pieces, actually. And before I put the rim, the brim on, I actually lined up my holes so they're going to fit right on the board and then I put pipe cleaners in there and then I glued that piece. That way I have it exactly where I want it when I put it on my uh, board. Um, again, I'm not sure if all this is going to fit, but he also has a pair of pants for the bottom that will also connect to the board. I'm just following your comments. Also, I have some corn that I put together today. I actually bought the corn at Target, and then I actually made, uh, had some leaves in my um, inventory that kind of look like corn. And if there's room, we have some arms to jet out the side. So... This is just going to, we're going to create it as we go. All right. I went ahead and I pre-cut everything. I also have a bandana if there's room. I went ahead and pre-cut everything. Um, these are at, there's actually four kinds of mesh I'm going to be using on this. Only because I love this mesh. It has um, frayed ends on it. But it doesn't stay up as well I'd like it as well as I would like it to. So I added another bit of mesh under that. This is also um, a checked mesh that's fabric mesh. All right. So this is cut at 20 inches, and the the bottom ones are cut at like 18 inches. This also doesn't stay up like I would like it to. So I actually have another mesh going under that, just a plain um, burlap mesh, okay? Only because I want it to sit up. So what I'm doing is I'm using my Bodabra. 
Um, these two layers here, I'm um, just doing the ruffle method on that. And again, I'm just loading it up in my uh, Bodabra so I can work with it. So it holds it in place for me while I get all the components together. And I want to add a little raffia there. So, so then I pull it out. And this is the best part. I just put it on here, zip tie it shut, and sometimes if your hands, now these are, uh, um, I think these are 8 inch, now these are 6 inch zip ties, 18 pound weight, but look at that, I can just use that to pull it right into place and then trim it. Again, there's nothing that's going to scratch. Now, on their boards, I forgot to tell you, these two top holes up here are for the zip tie that's going to hold it on your door or your wall or wherever you're going to put it. Okay? So whenever you're putting, like, the character face on, on the board, you want to make sure that your two holes are at the top. Now this is only the third time I've worked with one of these boards, but I'm telling you, it, there's nothing to it. I'm not saying there's nothing to it, I just mean it's very easy to work with, especially if you have any issues with your hands. Sometimes I can't grip um, the, the zip ties as well as I should, but I use the little thing, hi Sue. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know me. I go big or go home. And you know, now I've seen several people make, I've watched a lot of videos, I've seen several people make the scarecrow. But you know how I am. I do not want my end to look like somebody else's. So I'm going to do a lot of different things. Now on this, I... That's what I did, excuse me. On this one, I actually did the woodland ruffle. See, I put a few in here to kind of visualize what it's going to end up like. Okay. I did the woodland ruffle on the check with the burlap at the bottom. Thank you, Cynthia. Hi, Sue. LaVon's doing good. She and Sue are threatening. Well, not threatening. They're, they're talking about coming up. They wanted to know if I had snacks. <laughs> I told them ho only homemade cookies in this house. All right, so we're using the brown. Now, my, zip, my ties are cut at 12 inches. And see, I can load everything up in here, just grab it like I normally would. Hi, Marty. Welcome. Marty was here in class the other week. She uh, used the sunflower. I had four in class that night and three the first time we did it. And we are going to have so many more classes using these boards. I mean, the ideas are endless. I want to make the angel. And you guys should check out the events on my page because um, if you live local, I have classes. You come, everything's here. You pay a flat fee. You don't have to worry about bringing anything but yourself. Look at that. Look at how easy that is. And look, you can do the shake test and nothing's coming off. Right? Okay, so we got this mesh on the bottom. Then we have this mesh on the top. 
And with these two, I just did the ruffle. And if there's room, I even have a little bird. I thought, wouldn't that be cute, sitting on his shoulder somewhere. Thank you, Lori. You guys know that we can't say those three buttons. So if you could spread the love, I'd really appreciate it. The puppies are really... Um, Wound for sound today. Maybe if there's time later, I'll do a live video so you can see them. This miracle is in with the rest of them now. I know I need a crow, and <laughs> it was like I couldn't find one to save my life. I even bought little straw hats, and I didn't like them. And that's when I said, I'm making my own hat. Hi, Nancy. Welcome from Texas. Sue, they just want to come and play with the puppies. And they wanted snacks while they were here. <laughs> okay. Hi, Carol. Welcome. Did Ken get home yet? I don't like the way that's laying. Also, upcoming classes, we're going to work with the... Uh, well, it's my brother cut and scan, but it's just like a cricket. So we're going to have a class on teaching you how to do lettering on a sign. And then we're going to do the uh, scarecrow. So if anybody is interested in that. And again, you know, if I do anything on my live, you're welcome to ask about a kit. I can make a kit for you and send it to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know you did. But let me tell you, those puppies today, oh, they've been training really good on the pads since they were two weeks old. And they've been doing really good with the paper pads, too. But yesterday and today, they have decided to tear every darn paper pad I put down. They want to scratch at it and tear it all up. So, they're on my bad list today. <laughs> the adult ones are better than they are today. Now, I'm pretty sure these were... At Okay, these were at 18 inches, and these were at 18 inches. Nope, we're doing the ruffle on this one. They're Yorkies. I breed Yorkies. And the one, she was the only one out of the one litter that survived, and she was a preemie. And I was told by the vet she wasn't going to make it. So for two weeks or so, I tube fed her every three hours. 
and you wouldn't know today that she was a preemie because she is as big as the other ones that are two weeks older than her. Some of the people on here, Lori, are my um, puppy parents and neighbors and friends and family. So, so they all know that um, we nicknamed the little one Miracle because it's a miracle she survived. But she is adorable and smart. And now she's got attitude. <laughs> and she's learning stuff from the older ones because she's the only one of three that survived out of her litter. So now she's in with the older, the older dogs that are two weeks older. So, yep. She keeps me hopping constantly and right now she's up there she she torments them and then they all come back to give it back to her and when they give it back to her then she sits there and screams like they're killing her and it's like well you started it <laughs> she didn't even want to be held for the longest time I had a really really tough time um picking her up because she didn't want to be held. She didn't want to be touched. Now that's all she wants is for you to hold her. Hi, Sam. This is a bow Gabra that you can make a bow on. And it's, I use it a lot for just holding, stacking everything in it and holding it. I'm surprised this thing still works because it was my girlfriend's at one time, and I, we were working here together, and uh, it, it got put on the seat, and I didn't know it, and I sat on it <laughs> and broke it. So I bought her a new one, and then I taped this one all together, and uh, it's still, still working. It just makes it easy to put everything in place and then grab it put it on the zip tie ah. <laughs> hi Tina Tina got a chance to see the puppies up close she came yesterday to see my uh, my classroom here we had a lot of fun we have a lot in common I'm hoping she comes back again soon. Well, she is. She's coming back for the uh, the um, cricket class. So that'll be fun. Now, I'm told that if this gets too tight in here and you can't see the space, if you put a bowl in here, a 10-inch bowl, for about a half hour or so, It'll, uh, it'll conform to the bowl, and then you'll be fine. But isn't this hat going to look adorable on there? Look at that. Can you guys see it? Oh, I can't wait either, Tina. It's going to be fun. We have fun anytime we have a class down here. It's so quiet in my basement, but right now all I can hear is geek, geek, geek up there. <laughs> and she's giving somebody heck. Thank you, Sue. Sue's one of my business buds. We look out for each other when we're on live. I made the hat out of wood. I actually, it's actually two pieces. If you can see it, this is the main piece. And then the brim just goes right over top of it. Yeah, we're actually going to have, um, in, 
I have events here, Sue, and we're actually going to do a class um, so people can make a sign and learn how to use a Cricut. Oh, thanks. Boy, I wish you could hear her. She is really causing a, a lot of trouble up there. They all go to the vet on uh, Wednesday. So I'm anxious to see what the vet says about Miracle because um, I talked to the girls at the front desk. They know I'm bringing her along, but this is the vet that said um, she's not going to make it. And I said, well, what harm is it if I try? Hi, Carla. There's my, my Utah girlfriend, my bling. So I'm, I'm anxious to see what she says when I walk in with her. Because, I mean, she was, she had to have been about seven days premature, so... Will you, Sue? I got an extra room if you need to stay overnight. We're empty nesters now. My one son made settlement on his house today. And the other son is making settlement on their newer home on Wednesday. That's the son whose wife was in that automobile accident. Um, they moved away from from the nasty neighbor that almost ended her life by crashing into her. So, they're like totally different people now that they're not living next to that guy. Oh, <laughs> yes, queen. <laughs> But do you see how easy it is to work with these boards? Speedy delivery, too. Because until I get with the program, I didn't know how much time I would actually need to order the signs and have them arrive. And when I did that last class, they arrived in plenty of time for the class. And don't forget, up the top, of the comments, there's a link to the uh, um, is this one on right? There's a link to the uh, the discount if you want to order. I must have this in backwards. It is not working. There. Let's start over. I think I have the zip tie in backwards. No, I don't. It's a defective zip tie. I had it in, right? Hi, Donna. Welcome. Hi, Sherry. Welcome. Hi, Kathy. Boy, we got everybody from all over tonight. That's awesome. Thank you for joining me. We are making a scarecrow on the unique in the creek board. Their character board. The character board only has holes around the out, outer edge. And then... The flower board has holes all over the board. I actually held two classes here in the last two weeks, and um, we did the sunflower. And boy, did they turn out nice. Everybody had a great time. Okay. 
Anybody have any special plans for this weekend? I know, right? Isn't that awesome, Levon? Thank you. And then you'll get a message from my bot. And if you just refer to that, um, just answer it with the word live or get started or something like that, then you'll be notified every time I go live. I really appreciate you joining me. I've been wreathing for a long time. Just decided the beginning of the year to get serious. And this is only my third time using a Unique in the Creek board. And they are super simple. You will. It may not happen right away. It may happen like after the live is over. But you will. And if you don't, let me know. And as everybody knows, anything I make on a live, I can make a kit and ship it to you. Um, I will let you know. And this is one I can make a kit and ship it to you. But you might as well go on the Unique in the Creek website and order right from there. And at the top of the comments, there is um, a code. And if you use that code, you get 10% off your order. And these are called digital images. They also sell the digital images on there. Um, you would order them. They'll send it to you in an email. You download it. Or you can download it directly to any staples in your area. And what they do is they print it out for you. It has to be printed out on 32-pound paper or 100-pound cardstock. They're going on there somehow. <laughs> I watched Amy Rose the other night, um, or last week, and uh, they're actually a size uh, 24 months. I stuffed them, tied them at the bottom, put a patch on them. So they're going to go on the bottom of the scarecrow. Hi, Deborah. Welcome. Where are you from? We're doing the woodland ruffle on the plaid. And the other one, we're just doing a ruffle. Is there anybody on here who's used these boards before? What's the weather like in Michigan? Michigan's on my bucket list to travel there sometime. Thanks, Marty. When you load your board, you want to make sure that your that the zip tie goes in the end with the flat, the flat part of it. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome. How are you feeling? Doing good? Oh, humid. It was humid here yesterday. We're actually doing a lot better today, but I have a feeling it's going to return as much as we don't want it. It's going to be back. What colors were in your flowers, Sam? How are you feeling, Cheryl? Good? I'm 
been in our thoughts and prayers. Oh no. Oh. When is it going to end? No, wait a minute. We're doing the ruffle on this one. Oh, I bet you that was pretty. What did you use for your center? Did you use felt or... If you tight the coat is at the top in the uh, in the my comment that I listed on my links, there's a comment directly to unique in the creek. Okay, and that comment, when you're in there placing your order, the, the code is stitches. <coughs> you get 10% off your order. Oh my gosh, this is looking so cute. Don't forget to spread the love, please. I'm sure all of you know we can't say those words, so... And two more to go. There is an extra hole right here and here. I can add another one if I feel I need to, but I don't think I'm going to because there are so many different things that I'm going to be adding on here. I want to give myself enough room. Oh, feel better, Kathy. Sorry about that. That's not... I noticed, I'm, I'm now I'm told that people are using actually the Dollar Tree bikini bras and covering them. I know, right? No, it doesn't. It's actually a fabric mesh, Tina. Um, I got it a while ago from Craft Outlet. But I always use it on top of another mesh. Because of it being fabric, it's a lot softer. And it lays, it doesn't lay, like doesn't perk up enough for me. So, hi, Dee Dee. Welcome. I actually thought of you, Carla, because the Christmas tree board would have, I think, been easier to work with than what you worked with the other week. Let's see. Oh, I've got myself. Oh, okay. I know what I can do. I went for the same. Nope. Wrong one. There we go. I'm getting near the end and I'm getting confused. <laughs> and I know I watched Lori from the Unique in the Creek and there's actually a... Um, it's not a ribbon. It actually looks just like raffia, but it's kind of plastic. How's that going to happen here? Did I miss one? 
because I'm going to end up not where I want to be. I might have missed one. I'm off. I'll go back and find it later. Yes, it is much easier. I think that's my personal opinion. They're bored. It's actually almost 22 inches. They just came out with a cross. And man, that'll be so much nicer because we've been making the cross out of the um, Dollar Tree baking racks. And I am so tired of doing that. Very easy to be a um, to be an affiliate for them. I can't wait to meet Lori. I'll be going to the the wreath um, gala in Rochester in September, and I cannot wait. I had to have missed one because this should have come out even so I obviously wasn't paying attention so I'm just going there it is yep right there so let's see how can I correct that without taking out all of them well we're just gonna fix it we want it to look right. My own fault for not paying attention. To load the board, you just go down and up. I'll just put this one there where it was supposed to be in the first place. Wow. Yeah, I saw the videos. They were on that riverboat. Okay. I know, don't they? That mesh is really nice. I have it in long, too. So I want to use more of it. Just gives it another pop of dimension. Hello, Belinda. Welcome. We're using a unique in the creek character board. We're making a scarecrow. 
and I missed a hole, so now I'm going back to fix it, which we're just about fixed. Using my bow dabber to hold everything in place. You should try these boards, Belinda. They're really awesome. I just work with zip ties. This is the character board. It does not have as many holes as the flower board does. Two more to go. And I like it loading the boards so the zip ties, I zip them from the inside because then they're not scratching the door because they're not, not even on the back of the wreath. Okay. Need another zip tie best place to get zip ties these are the six inch is on um, Amazon you can buy them by the thousand I'll tell you what I really like working with them as opposed to the pipe cleaners Where do you usually look for it, Deb? I know, right? I, I have a hard time with those pipe cleaners because I've gone to uh, the stronger stuff, the uh, tinsel ties, because I'm not liking the uh, pipe cleaners. They don't hold up and they're rusting. That's what's nice about this. This is not going to rust. It's all plastic. I can use the needle nose pliers to pull it tight. Okay, one more. Now we're where we need to be. Yes, they're awesome, right? Um, if you have a wholesale license, uh, right now I know the Sunflower Mesh, the only place I've been able to find that is Sims Pottery. But of course their shipping is expensive. One of these days I'm going to drive down there, but when you think about it, the shipping is a lot cheaper than gas in a hotel room, so I guess it's, you know, it is what it is. We're done with the head and remember what I told you if if I put a bowl in here like a 10 inch bowl just to hold it for a little while it'll conform and you'll see more of the face you see I got a lot of mesh in here 
How's it looking so far? All right. Now, like I told you before I before I glued the brim on the hat, I put two holes in here and my pipe cleaners through because I didn't want them I there was no way I was going to staple them there. So, I put my holes right where they would be to go through the zip tie hole. So now, let's see if I can get it to work. <laughs> That's my buddy Harless. And I use in all my signs and for this hat, I use underlayment. I use it for under floors where they put your flooring down. And what I like about it is it's very thin and lightweight, so it won't weigh the uh, wreath down. I hate to do that, turn it over. I don't want to mash the... Uh. The one pipe cleaner is just a little bit too short. I didn't make it even. I made the hat, Dee Dee. It's out of wood. And then I painted it cut the vinyl letters out on my brother cut and scan or scan and cut which is just like a cricket and before I glued the brim of the hat to the top of the hat I uh, made sure I put holes right where I was going to need them because I wanted it to line up with the holes in the um, in the board See, I can take the mesh and put it back in place and disguise where those pipe cleaners are. How's that looking so far? Isn't that cute? All right, now we are going to put the pants on him. I even made arms, but I'm not sure we're going to get the arms on there. And this is one uh, thing that Amy Rose did with hers. These are uh, two 24 months size child's pants. And of course, you've got your belt loops here. And your belt loops, you can just zip tie your belt loops right to the back of the, the wreath board. I stuffed it and glued the top shut. And then I tied the um, 
glued a little raffia in the bottom and then tied it shut. And these are just going to hang down. How easy is that? Like I said, don't ever let a wreath go out of your house without your business card taped to the back. Because when they take it off the door at the end of the season, they're going to want one for the new season. And now they'll have a way of getting a hold of you. Okay, so there he is so far. You still have to put a bowl in there to kind of get it to spread out a little bit. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but I made them for it, so we're going to try it. I even made arms. Which I think I have on the wrong side. Let me see. Okay, this one goes on this side, this one goes on that side. So let's see how we can attach this. Thank you, Levine. Now again, I'm just going to attach it with zip ties to the existing zip ties. I may have to hot glue this in place or put I'll probably end up taking this off and drilling a hole through here and putting the putting the uh, zip tie through the hole but because my drill is upstairs we'll just do it this way for now that's what's needed to get it to stay in place and then I can even put a zip a hole here and zip tie the bottom of the the sleeve to there so that's how I'll have to do that but again this is my first time working with the board so I'm trying to figure it out as I go if I'm missing anybody's comments let me know <laughs> Sue, the jeans are are for from Kid Cycle. It's actually a re they uh, they sell really um, gently used children's pants and clothes. I called her the other day. I said, "Do you have any jeans down there?" She's like, "Do I ever?" So, again, I'm gonna have to put a hole in that. Because, see, it's going to get floppy, and we don't want it to get too floppy. I wanted it to stand up straight. So, I'll have to drill a hole in it later. All right, now, I have a bandana, but I don't think that's going to look good there. So, we're going to trash the bandana idea. I have a little bird that I can actually put on his hat. No crow. Couldn't find a crow, so we can glue him in there. And then we have corn. Corn on the cob. So, maybe it would look good to balance things out a little bit. To have the corn coming out from behind him, like up here because it'll look like he's in the cornfield, right? Yeah, let's try that. 
Yeah, and I'm definitely going to have to drill a hole so these don't end up flying all over. Hi Dawn, welcome. We're just trying to figure out where to place the corn. You know what's nice? I mean, everything is visible from the back of the board. You have access to everything. I'm loving these boards. I know I said that already, but I am. All right, so I'll drill holes in here to fix that. All right, here we go. And then all I have to do is, can you guys see it okay? And again, if I put a 10 inch bowl in here and let it sit in there a while, I'll be able to see more of the face. I'm trying to angle it so you guys can see it. Do you guys see it okay? Oh, thanks, Dawn. <laughs> I know, right? That's my version of a scarecrow. He needed some arms jetting out there. And I know if I, like I said, drill a hole in that, but you're not seeing the corn real good, are you? So I'm going to have to come up with a different idea for the corn to get that to show better. His hat looks cute, doesn't it? The corn came from Target. They had vegetables, stuffed vegetables, like the beginning of uh, spring. So I was going to use it for a barbecue one that I was doing, but I, I didn't. I kind of like this one better. I had some old leaves that I added to it. I don't know. I don't know it. Because when you put, when you do a character board and you use one of the digital images, you have to mod podge it. So I'm not sure how, if it would hold. There, that, the corn's holding now. Okay, let me see if I can hold the arms out. <laughs> I'll have to work on that a little bit. I may push it down this way from the inside. I think that'll work better. All right, there we go. Can you see it? Look at that, and the corn will blow in the wind. <laughs> now, if I were going to make this into a kit for somebody, um, it wouldn't come with the corn or the pants or the arms. You'd have to do that. But I could definitely make you up a hat to go with it. And then we'll put our little bird there. Thank you. Thank you. I know, right? The It just didn't look right without those leaves. And they were like, they look just like corn. So, and again, tonight I'll put my bowl in here to stretch this out so you see more of the face. I actually used, when I went in, they only had 24 pound paper. And it started to, um, and they had a laser printer, but it started to eat away when I was Mod Podging on the, um, 
the um, face, the ink. So I now know I have to use 30 pound or cardstock. Hi, Wendy. Welcome. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Sue. Do you want me to hold it up again? Sue, are you just jumping on? Or Wendy, I mean? We have to fix the arms so they stand straight out, which I have a way I can do that. The what? Yeah, that maybe that's where he needs to go. When I fix the arms, okay, you're like talking, put the bird on the arm. Okay. I like that idea. And again, when I make the hat, the holes line up directly with where it needs to go. So what are you what are your thoughts on the boards? Like I said, they have I even saw this made into a Frankenstein. This is the Christmas tree made into a candy corn this way, made into an angel this way, and then this is the flower board, and you know the flower board has more holes. Marty knows that all too well, because <laughs> she was here when we did the sunflower, and then see the character board has only like, these two at the top are going to be where you want to hang it. So I put that on first because I wasn't sure if that was going to interfere with anything. Then I loaded my board. Now this I have to drill a hole through and then put a new zip tie on because that will hold it in place. These arms are drooping. And then the belt loops, I just took the two front belt loops and zip tied it right to the zip ties at the bottom. I know. I. I can't wait to use more of the character boards. Um, they have a lot. They have over 21 pages of digital designs for the, for the uh, character board. They have all kinds of welcome signs. Um, there's Cal. There's a pumpkin. Um, there's a Mrs. Claus, a Mr. Claus. No problem, Wendy. You can always watch the replay. It's no problem at all. Yeah, the character boards, there's so much versatility with them. I even have, like, some of my own signs. Um, oh. And I want to I remind everybody the black, the black wreaths came in. And I want to show that to you with the, uh, with a purple sign attached to it. Purple, white. Um. See, look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? And this is, we're going to work on one of these on Wednesday. I made my own ghost. So we're going to do a, one with a ghost. But these, these, I know that people think black, but I'll tell you what, if you have the right color scheme, it looks awesome. And these I have for sale, um, $4 or $5 and eight eighty one cents. You can't buy them in the store for that price. Look, I could even use the cow ribbon on this. How cool is that? It's just, it's called, I want to, it's called, okay, a black Colorado wreath. It's like the green wreaths that you use at Christmas, except this is black. And there's like 160 tips on this. So, I mean, it really is full. Tina will tell you, she was here on Sunday and she bought one. It's just, they're 21, they're 20 inches. 
So you could you could fill the whole thing with mesh if you wanted. There are so many different things you could do with this. And you cannot touch them for under 20 bucks. Thing was, I could only order 24 of them. So I had to order 24 of them. So I had six for myself. So I'm selling the rest if anybody's interested. You just send me your, um, your zip. Tell me how many you want. I figure up the shipping. If you're okay with the shipping, then I'll just invoice you through PayPal. But these are awesome. Have you ever seen anybody use, um, do their wreath? They used a Christmas wreath and then they just use these as their tie downs for the mesh. I'll give you, well, here's a few things that I have for my black wreaths, all right? My girlfriend made these. Won't they look cute on there with a sign? And then I have the, the ribbon that has the candy corn on it. Um, I'll give you a sneak peek. I'm not done them yet. I won't show you everything I'm going to do to them, but here's, here's my ghost that I made. Look at him. Is he not the cutest against that black? Once they're gone, they're gone. So if you want them, they're five eighty one dollars a piece plus shipping. I know, and I'm trying... My girlfriend was going to look and see if she had any more of the candy corn. And I can even cut him in half and have his head at this end and his tail coming out that end. So if you want it, just message me and um, I will figure out how much to ship. I got 23 of them right now. So, ah, uh, thanks. I, I love working with felt and, and um, not felt, um, what's the name of that stuff called? It's, <laughs> it went out of my head. The fleece, the fleece. I know. And there's so many signs out there that aren't necessarily like all orange. Like look, that's got black in it. See how that just sets it off? Okay. How many do you want, Sue? Three? Okay. I'll figure it up and I'll sh send you the info in the morning. Here's another thing I thought was really cute. I have this guy, he's handmade. But wouldn't he look cute in that? With a bunch of leaves and stuff. See, I mean, as long as you've got some black in there, you could do anything. And you do not have to use black. You could use Okay. Like, look, you can take any mesh and use it as a tie down, like you would if you had ties in your wreath. I mean, there's so many things you could do with it. And I don't know how it would look good with um, with red and turquoise, but red and turquoise are the hottest color this holiday season. But seriously, the retail price on these is $19.99. So... 
But you can use, you could just use it as a wreath face and put all your mesh on there. Just a thought. You could do just ribbon. Like I've got this new ribbon in. Well, I showed you, if y'all go back through my comments, you can see all the new stuff I have this year. Look at that. Okay, Deb. I'll go back through all the comments. I'll write it all down, and then I'll send you all a message what the shipping would be. I mean, look at that color there. Couldn't you even see, like, um, a skeleton on this? I just think that would be really cute. Even the, the green and black ribbon looks really good on this, too. I'm full of ideas, Deb. <laughs> That's the problem. I can't shut off my brain at times. It just keeps going. So... But I'll go ahead and fix our scarecrow up. Deb, let me show you. I already glittered my spider webs. I have my spider webs in the comments too. You can glitter them. Oops. Look at that. And what's nice about these, these wooden pieces that I have, they're laser cut. So they're brown on the edges. So you don't have to paint the edges. I just went and mod podge the top, sprinkled the glue on it, and then, uh, you know, sprinkled the um, glitter, and then mod podged it again. You are so. Sue's rag, re rag ribbons, bows, are to die for. But can't you see that? I mean, look how that stands out on the black. So, just go back through all the comments. You'll see everything. I listed everything. I've got bats. I've got... The big pumpkin. Um, oh, and this too. Okay, these signs look awesome on the black wreath. It says, Witch's Night Out. Hi, Joy, welcome. So that's an option. Um, I also have these. These run $3.18. You glitter those with orange and put that in the middle of the wreath and put a bunch of pumpkins around in your bow and you're done. You're welcome, Sue. Thank you. Okay. So I'll be on here Wednesday afternoon around 2 and we're going to do the ghost wreath with the black wreath. Okay. And all you have to do is message me anytime. You want spider webs too? How many? Do you have spiders? Because I got packets of spiders. The packets of spiders are 99 cents. You get five in a pack. You get two purple, two orange, and a green. I mean, look at this, too. Look at how this stands out on the wreath. These are velvet acorns that I have. But see, you can do anything with this wreath. This could take you from any season. You could do this for any season. And see how that orange just pops on that black background? The idea with the ideas with this wreath are endless. 
and nobody has them out there right now. And they retail for $19.99. I sell the pumpkins and spiders, Joy. These pumpkins run $3.18. They too are laser cut, so you don't have to worry about painting the sides. Okay? And what I did with these, I glittered the whole thing, Mod Podge, with orange glitter. I added some leaves. I did the stem in brown. And then I put behind here vinyl that was glow in the dark. So at night, the word Halloween and the ghosts glow in the dark. And then I put two little wiggly eyes on them. So I have those. They're all in the comments. I've been listening to them the last couple of days. And then you've got this Witch's Night Out sign. That looks good on the black wreath. That's $4.99. The spiders are $9.99. The spider webs, I think, are like a dollar something. You just tell me what you want. I figure up the, send me your zip code. I figure up the shipping. And then, uh, then you, then I'll invoice you through PayPal. Spider webs are a dollar twenty-nine. I even have um, leaves for the fall season. Um, this one, this is a maple leaf. I think that's an oak. And then I even have the egg corn. These leaves are eighty-nine cents a piece. The spider webs are $1.29 a piece. So just look back in the comments. Like I said, I listed everything. And I have uh, the charger plates too. If you um, have a Cricut, this makes an awesome sign for a wreath. Look at that. These are $1.99. They're plastic. You put your lettering on there, put a bunch of leaves in here, a bow, boom, you're done. Just send me a message, what you want with your zip code, and then I'll, uh, I'll message you. I bought these all with the black wreath in mind and I couldn't just get one I had to get a whole case now these are 25 feet two and a half inch all the plaid are 279 okay so I have those And I have these. And these are $3.88. But check that out. You've got pumpkins. You've got a spooky house with bats. Uh, uh, a skeleton. Pumpkins. And you've got spiders and candy corn. So these run $3.88. And the, the plaids, they all run $2.79. I know. I can't wait to do that one too, LaVon. Okay. And five spiders. All right, I'll try and go back through the comments, but because there's a lot and there will be more tomorrow, it would probably be best just to go ahead and and send me a private message of everything you want. The pumpkins, the spider webs, the spiders. I can't get this stuff in, unless I order large quantities. And I will not use it all in my classes. And don't forget the, the boards. You get your twenty you get your ten percent off. This poor bird. 
you get your 10% off with the code. You need the code stitches. <laughs> hey, when I find stuff at a good price, I'm going to buy it and share it. So. You too, Tina. All right. I am so appreciative that y'all stopped by. It means a lot. Because I, I put my heart and soul into these things. And, you know. And again, he can be a kit. If you want. But you might as well buy your board directly from the company. And then if you want the hat, I can make the hat whatever okay thank you sue all right everybody i'm gonna say good night because i'm sure i got a big puppy mess up there i don't have a site yet Catherine. i do everything i have an etsy store but i don't have this stuff listed on my etsy shop yet my etsy shop is in the top of the comments along with my um, bot to be alerted when I go live, my um, Facebook page, my Etsy store, and, oh, the Unique in the Creek, um, their uh, website is listed there, along with the, uh, the coupon code. I am so technically challenged. I am trying to work with someone to get my uh, website up and running. <laughs> it's not going so well. But we're getting there. But for now, I'm just going to do everything right here. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. I will finish this guy up tomorrow and put a picture of him up. So you can see his arms out straight and the little bird sitting on his arm. Okay. All right. You all have a good night and thank you.